followed by Heaven Sent, High Heeled, Nash Meyer, Money Can't Buy Me Love, and Safira's Fire. Spacious may be just taking over from Barsheba. Katira on the far side. Midday push comes to shove for her, but she's making ground under Tom Queeley. Rainbow View over on the far side has got a chance as well as they head down the home straight. And Midday really picking up under the rail now. Midday strikes the front from Spacious. Katira, Barsheba, Rainbow View. Heaven Sent is trying to run on as well. And they're just about coming with inside of the stands now. And Midday is in front in the Nassau. It's Midday and Tom Queeley chased very hard by Money Can't Buy Me Love and Rainbow View inside the final hundred. And it's the Oaks runner up, Midday, who's going to bounce back to winning form at Group 1 level. Midday for Henry Cecil and Tom Queeley beats Rainbow View. Money Can't Buy Me Love back in third. Tight four, Barsheba and High Heeled. A little right hander will bring them home. And it's Barsheba by a length. Stasolita well poised. Midday down the outside. Strawberry Dacry in behind. And uh, plenty of buttons still to be pushed here as they race inside the final three. Barsheba, Stasolita and Midday both going well. Queeley getting a bit lower in the saddle. He's asking Midday now to go up and challenge Stasolita as they all go on by Barsheba. Strawberry Dacry is flat to the balls from Antara. And now racing down inside the final quarter. And Midday kicks on from Stasolita. Oh, that was a classy turn of foot there from midday. Stasolita trying to come back. Then Antara and Strawberry Dacry inside the final photo. Stasolita is rallying and midday is running out of a bit of steam. Might fight back though. Antara on the far side. Stasolita and midday. And midday indeed. She wanted something to race with and she goes on to win the second Nassau. Stasolita on the near side of Antara. Second and third. Then Strawberry Dacry. Contra Dolls, Barsheba and Rossonara. Hannigan stacking them up on Barefoot Lady as they begin to turn downhill. Field day in second. Midday pink cap on the outside of Crystal Capella. Snow Fairy yet to make a move. Likewise, principal roll. Barefoot Lady and the field now really are compacted. Barefoot Lady still sitting quietly in front. No move yet to increase the pace as they freewheel downhill with field day. Midday on the outside. Crystal Capella, mindful maybe of the stamina. Jimmy Fortune nips up the inside and is the first one to try and press. Barefoot Lady is a bit squeezed with field day. Midday moves to the outside. Snow Fairy shadowing midday's every move. So now it is a dash for home. Field day the outsider. Barefoot Lady battling on. Crystal Capella, the white face. Midday poised. Snow Fairy on her girths. But now midday is just shaking up Nas to commit snow fairy comes after her crystal capella is battling on the inside midday who can lose concentration out in front is still a couple of lengths clear from snow fairy and crystal capella and it's midday who's a couple of lengths in advance of snow fairy who's trying to rally on the inside but midday smoothly is going to round off a terrific week for tom queen is the henry cecil and Khalid abdallah and win her third mark and insurance national space so timepiece Extended the advantage to just over a length and a half and is being allowed to breeze down the hill. In second place is Was from on the outside Izzy Top, then Laytime and Narain towards the inside, the Fugan Clinical, as Timepiece leads them down the hill, gradually winding it up. Using her long stride to full effect, leads from Was in second. Izzy Top in black and white, Narain with the white face as Timepiece really now tries to begin to press on. Laytime's being ridden. The Fug tracks Izzy Top's every move as they make their way down in the final two furlongs at the Nassau. On. It's timepiece out in front. Izzy Top still being shadowed by the Fugue in the pink jacket under a confident Richard Hughes, but they've all got to get past timepiece yet, who continues to point her toe. Izzy Top, the Fugue is pulled out, but timepiece is still out in front. Izzy Top, the Fugue is, however, staying on strongly. Was his rallying, and the Fugue, a blistering turn of foot, carries her to the front, and she wins the market insurance. Nassau stakes in dominant fashion. Another group one for John Gosden. Timepiece, the run of the race in second. So out in front, just pretending, and Bonoffi at the head of affairs. Ambivalent poised with Samail, and moment in time making up the second wave. Sarger next from Integral. Sky Lantern pulled towards the centre of the field. Hot Snaps now being pushed along. Towards the inside, Beatrice Aurora improves, going OK. Win Silly comes next, just the judge still quietly ridden. Ambivalent moving to just pretending. Sarger coming there very strongly, shadowed by Sky Lantern, who now is travelling well. In 
Integral behind them. Win City with a run trying to hold Sky Lantern into the pocket. Sarger with just pretending. Sky Lantern all of a sudden leads it out. Win City and right down the outside. Thistlebird gathering momentum and Sky Lantern's imprisoned in a pocket. It's Sarger in the blue. Win City, Thistlebird, Sky Lantern, Harry the Thread the Needle and Richard Hughes luck has finally run out at Goodwood this week. It's Thistlebird in the yellow cap. Win City on the far side. Driven out. Win City, Thistlebird at the line. Win City for a shot. Win City for William Buick and John Gosden. In the second place, Thistle Bird. Third, Sarger and Hot Snap, who ran on very well to make it close for that position. Lustrous, uh, Richard Hughes on this white-faced uh, runner has just almost joined a dark blue jacket of Joseph O'Brien on Venus de Milo in front as they begin the downhill run. Two lengths behind them is Sultanina. She holds third place. And then the nose banded Narnin against the rails. On the extreme right, Mango Diva, Ryan Moore, just getting a little bit closer. And Eastern Bell continues to be the back marker. Last bit of the turn inside of the three marker now. Venus de Milo almost been left alone in front, leads by only a half length. Sultanina coming up on the outside of Lustrous. Look on the left, Narnin, a big give, gap for her to try and get through. And now she comes through it with Christoph Sumi. Oh, Mango Diva is next as they head down to the final quarter mile. Mango Diva on the right. On the left is Nan in the green jacket. Venus de Milo is next. Sultanina, one from the right. Pink jacket, white sleeves, putting in a big run. Heading down towards the last furlong. Narnin in front, bidding to be the first French trained winner of the Nassau. Sultanina is trying to retain it for John Gosden. These two battling it out as they race up the water line. Sultanina and William Buick coming home the strongest. Sultanina gives John Gosden a hat trick of wins in the Markle Insurance Nassau. Nan in second. Venus de Milo was third. Eastern Bell in fourth. They're past the halfway point now and beginning the descent. Star of Seville and Frankie de Tori continuing to dictate the field, but they're tightly clustered up in behind. Arabian Queen is just second. Diamonds and Rubies on the near side, tracked by Legartissimo. Lady of Dubai, Yellow Jacket on the far side from Clada Sierra. Then Jazzy Top, Wedding Bow and Hughes still at the tail of the field on bright approach. Now the sprint on down towards the final three furlongs. Frankie crouching low on Star of Seville. Arabian Queen is still in the thick of the action. Away to the right, Legartissimo yet to be produced. Produced. Then diamonds and rubies. Jazzy top white cap going for an up the inside. Doesn't see much daylight. Followed by Lady of Dubai. Leg artist and out quick and smartly. Moves through to take over as they head down towards the last furlong. Wedding Bow is running on from the rear. Leg Artissimo with 200 yards to cover. Wedding Bow is out after her. Then Arabian Queen and Star of Seville. Leg Artissimo stretching out in front. Has too much class for them. And Leg Artissimo wins the Nassau. Wedding Bow is second. Arabian Queen third and Clara Sierra is back in four. They're reaching the highest point now of the course, beginning the right-hand turn as well. And Ryan Moore just lets Minding drift off the running rail to avoid getting eclipsed behind runners, although beautiful romance, James Doyle tries to put him right back in there on the outside, and Minding just shuffled back towards the tail. Swiss range from Queen's Trust. Beautiful romance, Minding now pulled towards the outside, but is the back marker after that uh, shenanigans, and Jamail is towards the inside. So fanning out across the course, they make their way up the home straight. Swiss range it is who leads. In second is Queen's Trust. Beautiful romance in the blue. Minding gradually being wound up towards the outside of the course. And then Jamael as they make their way with two furlongs to travel. Minding makes her move with Queen's Trust and Swiss Range. And it's Minding who has now moved through the lead as they approach the final furlong and a half. Queen's Trust is battling on well in second place. Then Swiss Range and Jamael. But it's not a cakewalk for Minding. She is in front by about a length or so from Queen's Trust. And now she begins to exert her authority. And Minding is being pushed out towards the line and will notch her sixth Group 1 success in the Cattle Natural Stakes and Ryan Moore gains his first success in the race It's another in the race for Aiden O'Brien. And Sabetsu from Hydrangea. Winter, a couple of lengths back in third. On the inside is Somi Dar. Blonde Me next, Queen's Trust. And no cards really played so far down towards the final half mile. And it's Sabetsu that continues to lead the way. Hydrangea possibly drawing a little closer. Winter going well back in third place. Then Somi Dar, Blonde Me and Queen's Trust on their way now towards the final three furlongs. And getting across to that inside running rail at the cutaway. Sabetsu from Hydrangea. Uh, Winter in behind them. Does 
Drymore try and come, trying to go up the inside, looking for a bit of room there. Hydrangea on his outside, and Winter's coming through now to track Sabatsu. Sabatsu, though, kicking from the front. Somi Dahl driven out wide, Blonde Me, wider still, Queen's Trust. Winter trying to get to Sabatsu. Winter drawing alongside Sabatsu as they run towards the final furlong, and now she strikes the front. Winter leaves from Sabatsu. Blonde Me back in third, and it's Winter, this terrific three year old filly racing up towards the line a couple of guineas a royal ascot win and now she wins the nassau a fourth group one for winter blomney and sabetsu fighting it out for second then again to hydrangea wild illusion continues to dictate the gallop two lengths to urban fox in second rhododendron is close up in third on the inside in the red white and blue jacket voracious then the white blaze red sleeved bilsden brook and the pink cap at the back is wilhelmina approaching the last little right hand turn and wild illusion is trying to stretch them out here urban fox travels kindly in second rhoda gendron is now just pushed along into the bridle by ryan moore then voracious wilhelmina on the far side and bilsden brook wild illusion urban fox in second rhoda gendron out wide with her tongue hanging right out then on the wide outside bilsden brook and then voracious switch to the far side ahead of wilhelmina but wild illusion is taking a lot of passing here Voracious is trying to draw, charge up that far side running rail. It's wide illusion from Voracious. Urban Fox and Bilston Brook down the outside. Well inside the final furlong. And wild illusion is holding all comers here from Voracious and Urban Fox. And wild illusion goes on to win the Nassau. Sun Maiden, the big filly is third, then Nioletti on the outside from Maxad as they run now inside the final three furlongs in the Nassau is still Frankie on Medellin, chased by Sun Maiden, Hermosa is struggling, Maxad down the outside, Nioletti, Rawdar with a run down the wide outside from the rear of the field, but they've still got to get past Medellin as they race inside the final furlong and a half, and she kicks again, she's got three lengths clear, here's Rawdar trying to cut her back, so too Deirdre for Japan. The leader wandering off a true line now. Maybe she's running out of steam. Deirdre finishing fast, far side under Ashin Murphy. The Japanese bears beginning to get up and Deirdre for Japan wins the Nassau. Ran down Medellin, Rawdar third, Sun Maiden and just wonderful. Followed next by Queen Power and Lavender's Blue. Magic Wand leads the way. Fancy Blue second. Deirdre down the outside. One Voice is locked in behind them as they run on now towards the final quarter mile. Magic Wand being challenged by Fancy Blue and by Deirdre. A line of three. Queen Power out wide. Nazif making slightly heavier weather with it at the moment. One Voice tries to get on terms. Fancy Blue takes over. Magic Wand is nothing if not game on the far side, but Fancy Blue doing best. Here's One Voice from the back now charging at Fancy Blue Fancy Blue on the far side of one voice an all Irish finish Fancy Blue nothing if not game holds on Fancy Blue the French Oaks winner follows up in the Nassau followed by one voice then uh, Nazif further back and Queen Power Followed by Empress Josephine, Lady Bothorpe travels well in behind these from Technique at the cutaway and Ordari at the back. An intriguing race up the home straight. Joan of Arc just nudged along in the lead here. Zayada is cruising up in second. Lady Bothorpe poised. Then Empress Josephine. Ordari now asks a question. Then Technique, Joan of Arc, Zayada, Lady Bothorpe out wide Ordari. A fell on a half left to cover. Lady Bothorpe now comes through with her challenge on the outside of Zayada and Joan of Arc as they run inside the final furlong. Lady Bothorp on the near side of Zayada and Joan of Arc as they race up towards the line and Lady Bothorp goes on. Her ladyship gets her group one in the Nassau. Lady Bothorp has won it. Kieran Schumann punches the air, salutes the crowd. And Nashua as they race now towards the final three furlongs and Dream Loper is out in front. Fontaine in the yellow silks now pushed along. Then Aristia now looking to claim third from Concert Hall. Nashua cruising up toward the wide outside in the green. Now looks to get involved inside the final quarter mile. It is Dream Loper pressed by Fontaine. Nashua and Aristia currently battling out third. Then Concert Hall and Lilac Road and Rogue Millennium. They run down towards the final furlong. Dream Loper claimed by Nashua out wider. Fontaine battling on. And then in amongst them is Aristia. But it's Nashua who's coming home best of all to win the Qatar. Nassau stakes under Holly Doyle. Nash Wilder winner beats Aristia and Lilac Road. Fontaine in fourth.
Then Dream Loper clear from one for Bobby, Rogue Millennium and Concert Hall. Canarfin and then never ending story and Nash War is still at the back of the field. Blue Rose 10 went for the gap up the rail but the door was closed by Ryan Moore on above the curve and it's above the curve and Al Hooson. Blue Rose 10 has got to get out of trouble over there from never ending story and then Canarfin and here comes Holly. Holly's coming down the outside on Nash War and Nash War really picking up and Blue Rose 10 is imprisoned on the inside as they race down to the final furlong above the curve Al Hooson. Nash War Storming down the outside, needs to find a little bit more. Then Blue Rose Sen, they race into the closing stages. Al Husson from Nashua and Blue Rose Sen, and it's Al Husson. Further Group 1 glory for Shadwell and Jim Crowley. Al Husson has won the Nassau.